This is Karen Smith, and I am going to show you guys how to import items from one course to another. So this is my export course, and what I've done here is I have added a section and I labeled it Import Export. Make sure editing is on here. So you're spending a little time and you're going to do a little prep work before you just go to importing. What I've done is I've kind of labeled the sections the same in each course. With editing on, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom, click add a new section. Voila, here's a new section and I'm going to call it import export. Same as I did in the other course. Enter and here we go. So this is where I'm going to put the new course, or if I need to export stuff from this course, I'm going to bring things down into this section. And that'll help a lot with organization and keeping track of things that you import. So here's the exporting course. This is the course that I want to export from. And let's go ahead and just use the item exam one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export exam one from this course. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to duplicate the item I'm trying to export. And once that is duplicated, I'm going to go ahead and bring it down into the import export section because I don't need to bring this whole section and everything in it into the new course. So let's give that a sec to finish duplicating. Okay, so we have a copy of exam one. Of course, you want to open that section <laughs> and then bring the duplicate of exam one and drop it right into the import export section. I can actually do this. I'm going to, instead of copy, I'm just going to call it exam one. In the course where I'm trying to import the exam one, what I'm going to do to exam one, it looks like I already did it. I'm going to actually hide this. It's hidden from students. I don't want to delete it because I might use it for something else in a different section, maybe a practice exam or some other type of uh, exercise for my course. So I'm just going to keep it hidden for now until I decide what I want to do with it. Now note, this is where we want our new exam to appear, right? Here into this import, import export folder. So I'm going to come here. Notice editing is on. I have my triple cogwheel, this course management. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to find single cogwheel, down menu, and find import. Select the import link. We are on the course selection page. We need to find the course we're trying to import from. Now notice I want to import from ASMRI essays. There we go. Select that course that we're trying to import from and continue. Now we're on the initial settings page. Under initial settings, all the boxes are checked when it comes up. Uncheck everything we don't need. So this is an activity and resources. We want that checked. We don't want all the blocks files, filters, calendar events. We do want the question bank because that's where all the questions for my exam are. So we want that. Include competencies, content bank. Okay, here we go. So I got the important things that I need for my exam. I'm going to click next. And under the schema settings, now here is an outline basically of your course. Let me kind of bring the frame down so you can see. This is the general section of your course. Then you have your textbooks. And then you have your different sections of the course, right? Each lecture or lesson. And if you go down here, you'll see this is what we're really just wanting is this import export section and exam one. At the top, you have the option to select none, okay? And so what we can do is then scroll down. You can click one section and one item at a time. If you wanted to just have something from section one and maybe just 
the first lesson, you see you can do individual selections. But we just want this section, the new import export, and exam one. So let's click next and see what happens. Confirmation and review. This is your chance to make sure you have all the boxes checked that needed to be checked. Okay, included items. Notice I don't have anything else except for what I need checked off because once you click perform import, it might take a few minutes. Let's check it out. Perform import. Now this might be a good time to get a cup of coffee, um, maybe brew some tea, maybe the dog needs to go out. Good time to take a minute. Notice that my new exam one is in the course. Now, I want you guys to note a couple of things. If this doesn't work for you and you get an error message and then you go to check and it did not work and what is happening, it could be that you need to have the same amount of sections or openings, lectures open. So when I added this import export, I made sure it was in the 20th section for this course okay when you're adding to do your import export you may need to be aware of that if it doesn't work out for you that could be something to troubleshoot at any rate here we are with our newly edited exam one and now we can put this into the section it belongs in into the updated exam and what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and take this old exam and just put it down here for now. It's this whole section, again, is hidden from students. And it's just a good little neat way to temporarily hold items you may want to use. Like maybe you need a practice exam. This has been how to import from one course into another. And here it is. All right, you guys, have a great day. Happy teaching. I'll talk to you soon.